Hey everyone, happy dude here and I promised that I would make a video to see if we can increase the FPS of the Dan Wesson. But first we have to see how much FPS it generates now. All right, so as we saw, the first shot was a very high FPS, over 400. And then it remains between 350 and 390 FPS, which is quite a lot because don't forget, the Steel BBs weigh 0 0.35 gram. Now, everybody is always asking, how much FPS, how much FPS, but that number alone doesn't mean anything because you need to know how much does your ballistic weigh and if you know that and you know the speed of the ballistic then we can calculate the energy in Joule. That's why I'm telling you the weight of my BB because if I use a very light BB we get a much higher FPS. And that's how you can manipulate the numbers of the FPS. And also a lot of these videos on YouTube, uh, they show you how to increase the FPS, but they don't show you the numbers or they only show it after the test. Okay, let's see if putting tension on the spring will get us more FPS. First, take the handle off. Then to take this off, just put your nails between that. And now we have four screws to loosen up. All right, and now put something between here to lift this lid up. And here we have the inside. Um, it's very easy to take everything out but putting it back in is a bit more difficult because every notch and hole needs to line up in here and, <clears throat> and also on here. So the idea is if you put something between here, you get more tension on the spring and so the hammer will hit harder onto the valve and it should put more CO2 to the steel BB and therefore we will get more FPS. Anyway, that's the idea. Let's see if this works. Now, the first thing that I notice is that this is exactly the same layout where we put the CO2 to tension it and we see the exact same thing over here so it's actually made uh, to put a nut and bolt in here so we can uh, regulate the tension spring all right so we got this m4 nut and bolts here it should fit perfectly let's see oh 
Oh yes, perfect. All right, the nut and bolt are in. So now if we want more tension, we can turn this. Very easy and we don't even need to take the gun apart. So now we can put everything back together. Uh, you may need to play with the uh, trigger and the hammer to fit this back on. Alright, once the lid is perfectly on, we can put the screws back in. And you can see that it really is made for this mod. Okay, then just slide the handle back on and turn the bolt with your fingers, hand tight. And then you can take a wrench and start putting tension on the spring. The FPS will start to increase after 5 turns. So to make the video a bit shorter, I went for 10 turns and that means that the spring will move up by about... Uh, three or four millimeters all right i'm not going to cut the video i'm going to do this in one take so you know i'm not going to cheat the same steel bbs are in here 0 0.35 gram i'm going to use a fresh co2 can Also from the same brand, also the same shells. I'm very curious. Let's zoom in here. All right. Let's see. All right, so the FPS didn't really go up. It's actually pretty much the same. So I knew this would happen uh, because it doesn't really matter how hard you hit this valve. It's still the same opening. So the same amount of CO2 will come out. So if you really uh, want a higher FPS, you will need to change uh, the valve inside. I know you can do this for some CO2 guns, but I don't think uh, there is one for this gun. So now we finally know the FPS cannot be higher by simply putting more tension on the spring. Alright, I did some testing behind the scenes with more 
tension spring and also less and the FPS just remains the same. Now I will admit that the average FPS was a bit higher and also it remains more constant around the 400 mark. But the power of the gun itself will not get any higher. Anyways, I hope you learned something and don't forget to like the video and maybe subscribe for more and you all have a nice day. Bye!